Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Uh, we're going to be talking about the current political climate in Britain because Great Britain it has not been so great lately with again violence spiralling out of control and fatal stabbings recorded at its highest since 1946. That's right with 100 this year and it will not be stopping uh, at any time soon. 80 people were fatally stabbed in 2017. Uh, 76 were stabbed in 2018, and Sadi Khan, the London mayor, has had plenty of time to crack down on this, but he has his priorities on different issues. Head over to the Australian Evolutionary Movement YouTube channel and subscribe to this channel to support the work that we're doing here. You can also go to Facebook, the Australian Evolutionary Movement, for some great content and news you won't get anywhere else. You can also find my personal Nathan Moddy page on Facebook. I do recommend using alternative platforms like Mines, but you can also find me here. Like blowing six million dollars on toilets for London bus drivers. So that's taxpayers cash on exclusive toilets for bus drivers. So yeah, that's right. The mayor of London complains there isn't enough money for proper policing or surveillance of terror suspects, but goes and spends uh, six million on toilets for London bus drivers. We see where his uh, priorities lie. It's just absolutely out of control. Uh, you have radicals desecrating churches all across Europe. Uh, according to a German news site, every day in France two churches are desecrated. They reported uh, 1,063 attacks on Christian churches in 2018. Uh, it's just absolutely terrifying what is happening. Europe is not as safe as it used to be. Uh, you got France in a near revolution uh, and the growing amount of acid attacks. So there was 465 acid attacks were recorded in London in 2017 and over 2,000 acid attacks in less than three years with the majority cases in London. Uh, these are just absolutely horrific life-changing experiences and 92 shootings in 2018 and one of these involved uh, Ryan Barton. He was a boy who was shot to death in a drive-by shooting while his mum was there at a football game. Uh, that was the 15th teenager to be killed in London over a five-month span. Uh, what, another example that I had uh, happened at the start of this month, so at the start of May. Uh, the headline reads, um, Man 38 dies after he was shot with a crossbow as another is stabbed to death and a 16-year-old boy fights for his life after being shot in Bank Holiday Weekend of bloodshed on Britain's streets. So um, that was at the start of May. That's a Daily Mail article. And if I have to be honest, I think that a big influence that is responsible for a lot of this gen mentality in London would have to be the hip-hop influence and the music that they're listening to. Uh, if you look at this article here, that was also said by an ex-London gang member. He came out blaming hip-hop for bloodshed in the capital. <clears throat> if you just look at the latest of what's been happening over there, Tommy Robinson, on his campaign trail, he had a milkshake thrown on him uh, twice during a walkabout in Warrington. Uh, Tommy fought back with a few punches. Uh, a fight had broken out. And somebody also threw a brick through Tommy's campaign um, screen. Uh, he was unap unapologetic when he was questioned about it. Uh, also verbally abusing uh, the camera crew. But uh, Nigel Farage was also doused with milkshake, but in Newcastle. I'll play that video in a second. So there's that Tommy, um, Nigel Farage, Tommy Robinson, uh, they've both had milkshake thrown at them and it's not so different from what's happening here in Australia but they're using eggs. Sorry. 
So that was Nigel Farage being have a milkshake thrown on him in Newcastle. Uh, Paul, Paul Crowther was his name, and he was charged with common assault and criminal damage. Uh, journalist Tom Peck came out calling it hilarious that this is happening to Nigel. Uh, Nigel and the Brexit party are running in the European elections to push for the Brexit deal that was never delivered to the British people. Uh, Tom, Peck, Tom Peck, the uh, independent journalist, got into a debate with Pierce Morgan over this about whether he would laugh at this the same way if it were a woman that had milkshake thrown at her, if it was a female politician. And no, he wouldn't have found that funny, <laughs> which shows his um, complete double standards. And uh, Tommy is also campaigning for Britain to leave the EU. Uh, his latest election event in Oldham, uh, his voters were attacked with bottles and bricks by the Muslim Defence League. And I'll play that video. Youths, yes. 300 youths throwing bricks at children. We've got youths on. Oh, listen, no way. I'm letting the world know what's going on. I'm letting the world know what's going on. Come on. I'm letting the world know what's going on. Supposedly there was a leaked video online uh, prior to this of um, the Muslim Defence League on their way there uh, chanting Allah Akbar. And this is the current political situation in Britain. It's truly terrifying uh, that this is the result of a failed democracy uh, orchestrated by faceless bureaucrats. Uh, a big contributor to this crime wave would have to be the mass import of migrants. Uh, Muslims su supposedly celebrated the Notre Dame fire, uh, but it's the double standards shown by the politicians, this codded, uh, bubble-wrapped, nanny state mentality is making us weaker and more acceptable to these atrocities. And one of the examples I'm going to give you will, will outline the double standards showed by the politicians, how they pander to one group more than the other. Uh, there was a man in the UK, he left a bacon sandwich outside of a mosque back in 2016. He was found guilty and locked up for a year. Uh, that itself is insane, but during that time, the man, uh, Kevin Creenan was his name, he was found dead in his cell halfway through his sentence. Now compare that. Now compare that to this situation. Uh, there was a radical Islamist. He came and spat in a baby's face, a nine-month-old nine baby. He leaned into the pram and spat in her face. He then came out and then he told the mother of the baby, "White people shouldn't breed." Uh, not only was this a racially motivated attack on a child. But the man that did it, his name was uh, Reses Abdullah. He had two previous convictions for race hate crimes against white women. Uh, this time, Reses uh, was convicted of racially aggravated assault, uh, but was spared jail. He had no jail time for this assault. Uh, but leaving bacon outside of a mosque will uh, have more serious ramifications. The double standards are just ab abhorrent. And through this, yet our governments just want to import the worst of the worst, preaching this vile hate, like Andrew Chowdhury, um, a radical Islamist activist that was responsible for radicalizing one of the bombers in the Sri Lankan Easter uh, uh, bombing. He was jailed and released for promoting ISIS, and they uh, still consider him genuinely dangerous. Uh, if this isn't resolved, this will lead into a civil war, as orchestrated under the divide and conquer plan to separate the masses and provide the solution. But to prevent the terrorism from escalating, we cannot play into this tit-for-tat game uh, that will ultimately lead us into civil war like it has in the past. Uh, we need to awaken the people, involve yourself more into this kind of stuff, organize meetings, 
educate your friends and family with what's happening because if we react to what is happening, we just lose more of our rights. And soon we'll be tolerant to what is happening. Uh, we will only see it as unfortunate as it continues to happen. Our emotional capacity will be drained and we will live in a world that is accepting to anything the government proposes. Uh, 2 plus 2 equals 5. Uh, as said by George Orwell, the government will create hoax wars um, like they did with Oceania and uh, Eurasia in 1984, and then and we will obey anything they tell us. And just the way that some of the British public are treating the political situation, just like a mockery. Here in Australia too, with the eggs and milkshakes, they just don't fully understand what is happening. All the examples I've given before uh, actually do reflect on this whole situation. Uh, and people just aren't taking it seriously. They are treating it um, as some joke. And the people that do take this seriously just ultimately just eventually like to subscribe to the hate. That's why uh, time is running short on this whole uh, thing. We need to unite and we need to wake up as many people as we can. Uh, let's try those alternative platforms. Uh, support independent journalism. You can find me on MeWe, Gab, Minds. Uh, YouTube, just subscribe to the channel, uh, like and subscribe, they'd be very supportive. I'm also on Facebook, the Australian Evolutionary Movement page. Uh, though this was just a quick take on what is happening in Britain. Uh, a lot of the results just leading on to one another. And I really hope you found this video enjoyable and I hope you found the information useful. I really appreciate all your support, guys. Just remember to like and subscribe because I need your support, and I'll keep making videos. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you soon.